Hey, what's going on guys? First Tech Up here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to show you guys a simple method or a simple tutorial on how to get your lost file back if you happen to delete or erase any data from a thumb drive like this or an external hard drive like this or even files that are stored in your computer. How you can get those files back, okay? So I'm not going to waste much of your time. Let's head over to my computer. Let me show you how to get that done. Okay. So to get started, all you need to do is head over to the official website of Wondershare, which is a recovery it.wondershare.net. I will have the link in the description box below so that it will be much more easier for you to click on it and just get straight to the download site immediately. So once you get to the site, as you can see here, we have a Wondershare Recovery It Data Recovery. Bring simplicity to life, recover your lost and deleted data in three steps. So it is available for Mac and PC. Right now I'm using a Mac, that is why it's giving me this option to download for Mac. If you get to this point right here, you see what it can do, what you can recover computer crashed important files deleted we can get them all recovered so it has support for documents photos videos audio message or emails and archive and the good thing about it is that it supports huge file format the first thing you're going to do once you get to this site is to download the one that is suitable for your operating system as for me i have to download the Mac version. So I now click on download. So once you're done with the download, all you need to do is double click on it to install it. And after installation, you can go ahead and launch it. One thing I like about the interface is that it is very simple and intuitive for anybody to understand. As you can see here, we have all the drives that are on this system. These are my internal drive, which is the Mac HD, the Bootcamp drive, and, and these are the external drives here. You can also select locations, for example, your trash, your desktop, or you can select a specific folder to recover any file that was missing from that particular folder, which is awesome. There's also an advanced recovery option, which you can use to recover from a crash computer. As you can see here, if you should click on this, then we click on start. It will give us this option here, recover files from crash computer. Create a bootable USB. Set startup option on crash PC. Recover files from crash PC. Now we have video repair tools. If you click here now and click on start, it will give us option to repair any bad or corrupted video. Then if you now come to advanced video recovery and start, then we can now choose a particular drive that we want to recover our video files from, which is quite awesome and interesting. Right now, there's a flash drive that is currently connected to this computer with files inside. So these are all the files, data, and information that are inside the flash drive. So I'm going to go ahead right now and erase the flash drive and see if this recovery it will be able to recover all the information that is inside so let's head over to text utility then external device as you can see here then we click on erase okay so now that we've finished erasing the flash drive let's close this and open the flash drive as you can see here there's nothing inside the flash is empty so now let's head over to our recovery tool inside the recovery software as you can see here under the external devices we have just one device which is the flash drive it's an 8 gigabyte flash drive so i'm going to select it then i click on start So far, it has found about 67 items and it's still going. 
So depending on the size of the flash drive and the content, it might take some time. So we're just going to be patient and give it some time. But you know what? You're not going to wait. So I'll be the one waiting. So you're not going to wait and see this. I'll just fast forward it. As you can see here, it has seen about 14 audio files so far. We have two emails, we have eight photos, five videos, and it is still ongoing. Total files found is about 106 so far. Right now we're at 71% and it has found about 350 files. Okay, so right now we're currently at 99% and it has found about 576 files. Yes, it has finished. Scan completed, 627 files found. Some tips to find lost file efficiently. So as you can see here, we have 14 audio files, two emails, 43 photos and 13 videos. So we can now select the ones that we want to recover. So let me just save these three files right now to my desktop. I click on recover after I might have selected the three files recover. So it's now asking me where I want to save the file so I can just pull it to my desktop and I can give it a different name if I do not want this name here. So I'll just leave it like that. I click on save. As you can see, it's recovering files. Okay, done. Now open folder. So this is the folder, audio, mp3. We have three files here. Yes, it is working. You see, it's working fine. Files are not corrupted. The files are still very okay. So I can now go back to the recovery software again and go to photos. Let's check our photos here. As you can see, all the photos are here. Yes. So one of the advantages about this software is that it doesn't take much time to recover any lost file from your external hard drive or even if you want to recover files from your computer. So it is as simple as that when it comes to recovering your lost file from any storage medium. Okay. So one of the things I like about Wondershare Recovery It is the simplicity on the user interface. I just like how simple and intuitive the user interface looks and feel. So if you're just using the free version, you should be able to recover up to 100 megabytes of data. But if you want to have the full experience, these are the pricing option here. The essential is about $71.47. Recover unlimited files for one Mac. Then the standard version goes up to $84.47. Then the advanced version that costs up to $97.47, which have the ability to recover and repair data for two marks. And these are all the features that each license has to offer. If you're using a Windows computer, it is quite cheaper. The essential option is a bit cheaper here. As you can see here, it's just $58.47. Then the standard version is $64.97 for one PC. Then the advanced version is $71 for two pieces and it does the same thing as the Mac version. So that has been it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check the links in the description. This is very important because I know most of you might have encountered or have issues like this. So with this software, it makes it easier for you to get any of your lost files or data back. So don't forget to check the links in the description. And thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to also like, share, and subscribe. It's important. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.